Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving a question from Miriam textbook and we have two people that are trying to relocate a sofa by applying two forces at point A and B. We know F1 is 500 Newton and F2 is 350 Newton. We need to determine the vector expression for the resultant of these two forces and we need to determine the magnitude of the resultant and the angle which it makes with the positive x-axis. So we can see x and y axis in the question. Um, Let's see how we can solve this one. So as always, we're going to go with the sum of all forces in x direction or the resultant in x direction. So obviously our f1 is only in x direction and we know f1 from the question is 500. So we have 500 Newton from the f1 and for f2, we know that this will be the x component. Let's call it f2x and this will be our f2y. We know this angle right here is 60 degrees. So our F2x will be F2 times cosine of 60 degrees. And that's because if we do the cosine of 60 degrees for that angle, we'll have adjacent, which is F2x divided by F2. And here our F2x will be F2 times cosine of 60 degrees. And from here, if we know that F2 is 350 Newton and our Rx will be uh, 500 plus 350 times cosine of 60 and we know cosine of 60 is 0.5 so 500 plus 175 and that would give us 675 newton we found the rx now we need to find the y component of ry which is the sum of all forces in y direction so obviously the f1 has only one x component but f2y as y component and this time f2y will be f2 times sine of 60 degrees and if we calculate this with calculator this is coming from the same thing so we just need to use uh, what we did in here we'll only have sine of 60 and if we calculate this we'll get 303.1 newton and that's going to give us the y component. If you want to find the resultant, we simply have square root of rx squared plus ry squared. So square root of 675 squared plus 303.5 squared, 0.1 squared. And this will be the square root of 5474.94.6. And this will be 700. 39.9 or 740 newton so that's the first part of the question where we needed to find the magnitude and we also need to find the angle with x-axis so what we found at the end was we found both x and y component of r let's call this r that would be our rx and this will be our ry what we are interested in is in this angle which will be the angle with x-axis and if we do the tangent of alpha we'll have ry over rx and our ry would be simply uh, we found our ry 303.1 and our rx was 675 so we have ry which is 303.1 divided by 675 and our alpha will be the tangent inverse of 303. 3.1 divided by 675 and that would give us 24.2 degrees and that would be the final answer for this question let me know if you have any specific question regarding this one or other textbooks that we are covering uh in this channel we can go over those questions in the next videos um you guys take care and i'll see you in the next video have a good one